Are you serious? Are you serious? Folks, NASA has just announced that, of course, the spacecraft Dawn is now entering or approaching the dwarf planet Ceres. And um, actually, according to NASA, Dawn's spacecraft has begun approaching Ceres ahead of a very historic March the 6th, 2015, where, uh, where Dawn will officially enter the Ceres uh, orbit. Um, now, get this. Uh, right now, Ceres is a dwarf planet. It was originally discovered on 1-1-0-1801. That's right, January 1st, 1801. On 1101, a Roman discovered uh, th this dwarf planet, named it Ceres, after a Roman goddess of agriculture and fertility. Uh, the uh, the astronomer that discovered this dwarf planet's name was Piazzi. Uh, now, he named it after this Roman goddess uh, of agriculture and fertility. And every year, uh, there used to be a festival held in April the 12th through April the 18th, in which there'd be a circus and all kinds of festivities in uh, celebrating uh, what they hoped that this goddess would bring a good yield within their crops. They'd even catch foxes and set their tails on fire and send them out ablaze throughout the uh, fields to help burn down the fields, to cleanse the fields before the, pl you know, before the planting of the next year's uh, crops. So Ceres is named after, again, a Roman goddess. Now here's what... NASA is saying, because it seems as if we are trying to climb into the heavens, but NASA is realizing that this is a very large object. Um, it's not coming toward the Earth, but it does orbit the sun. It has an orbit of about 1,600 days, I think it's 1,680, every 1,680 days around the sun. It has low gravity, but it's believed to have water, and a, quite a bit of water, um, now this uh, dawn is uh, right now 400,000 miles from this dwarf planet of Ceres. It's, dawn is cruising at 450 miles an hour as it heads toward this dwarf planet. Dawn should enter the orbit of Ceres, uh, which is the largest object in the uh, asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, and should arrive there on March the 6th. 2015, just before the third blood moon of the four blood moon tetrad. So uh, should be some interesting situations developing as man is climbing into the heavens, which is exactly what the Bible said we would do in the last days, and we're doing it. And uh, everything, every biblical prophecy in the Bible is coming to pass. It's quite extraordinary. Even if you're an atheist, an angry atheist at that, and you didn't believe. You know, you don't believe the Bible. You don't believe all these Christians running around. You, you can't, I mean, you, you deal with facts. So you've got to stop and pause. I mean, tell me you're not. And look at the Bible and say, why is it that every prophecy in the Bible is coming to pass? Hasn't missed a one. And the historical accounts of events are proven by uh, you know, archaeologists and different people that find things. Uh, Heidi, what else did you find? Um, it also says that um, <clears throat> Cirrus, the statue of her, is on the top of the domes of the Missouri State Capitol, Vermont State House. What? As reminders of the importance of agriculture in the state's economies. And there's also a statue of her on the top of the Chicago Board of Trade Building. What? Which conducts trading in agricultural commodities. Just another note, series is depicted on the seal of New Jersey as a symbol of prosperity. So Vermont and Missouri. Chicago. Chicago, the market, which one was that? Board of Trade Building. Board of Trade Building. And New Jersey, it's on top of what? New Jersey, it's on the uh, seal of 
seal of New Jersey. It's the it's on the seal, the state seal of New Jersey. Mm -hmm. So the Roman goddess series is setting on top the state capitals. Let me just show that. Okay, setting on top the state capitals of Vermont and Missouri, overlooking your agriculture, hoping that you can get a blessing from it, uh, and also over. The, it's in the seal of New Jersey. Somebody tell Chris Christie. And uh, also, it's a three-story faceless de depiction of Ceres rest on top the Chicago Board of Trade Building. I'm going to try to do a Paul Baby Prophecy moment, but that's what it looks like. Okay? It's about as good as I can do, but that's what it looks like sitting on top of the Chicago Board of Trade Building. So how much... Roman mythology, Roman God, or, you know, idolatrous worship. How much of it was a part of some of our founders, whether it was in, <laughs> okay? I mean, what are you going to do with this? What are you going to do with this? I'll tell you what you do with it. You don't put your faith in man. You don't put your faith in politicians. And you don't put your faith in political parties, or even governmental structures. Your faith must be in the word of God and in the Lord Jesus Christ and his love for you. There's a dwarf planet. We're going to climb up in it, climb all around it. If only we would seek the throne of God like we seek the th all the other thrones. Are you serious? 